2012, the Central European University published a report that a Polish minority in Lithuania are facing institutionalized racism in language, education, and cultures. So we want to know what exactly caused tension to rise between these two groups of very close people in the Baltic region. Well, the Poles are one of the largest ethnic minority in Lithuania. As a country, Poland was one of the closest neighbors to Lithuania, geographic-wise. The two countries were also used to be united as the Poland-Lithuania Commonwealth, which was one of the largest and most powerful nations in Eastern Europe. By the end of the 18th century, however, the once mighty Poland-Lithuania Commonwealth was defeated and divided among the three major European powers, which comprised the Prussia, the Austria, and the Russia. The two countries were hence split up and revived many times as a separate countries by various powers from the Napoleonic France to the Soviet Union. However, because of this historical interconnection, the Poles who are the more populous ethnicity are now residing in Lithuania, whom they form one of the country's largest ethnic minority. Despite sharing a long history of kinships, Poland-Lithuania relations went sour in the modern time, with the conflict originating from the city of Vilnius, which is the capital of Lithuania, but were historically claimed by both countries. The city of Vilnius was culturally important to the four different ethnicities, the Lithuanian, the Poles, the Jews, and the Belarusian. The city itself was traditionally the capital of Lithuania, however, after more than a century after the partition of Poland-Lithuania Union, the Vilnius has been the least Lithuanian of any Lithuanian city, and was heavily populated by the Poles and the Jews. After the establishment of both the Poland and Lithuania independent, the city changed hands several times, from Lithuania to Russia and Poland. The eventual occupation of Poland a regular army of the city in 1920 spelled the end of any good feeling both countries might have had. The action caused the Lithuanian government to severe all diplomatic ties with the former kin, and Poland simply refused to acknowledge that the incident ever exists. The poland lithuania rivalry reached its climax during the Transinkai incident, in which the shooting broke out between the Polish and Lithuanian border guard resulting in the loss of life on the Polish side. The Polish government issued the ultimatum to re-establish a diplomatic relationship with Lithuania, in which the Lithuanian only had 48 hours to answer or face military action. The full-scale conflict was ultimately averted, with the Lithuania finally agreed to the ultimatum, but the relationship between the two countries were broken beyond repair. It was not until both Poland and Lithuania were invaded and occupied again by the Nazi Germany and the Soviet Russia, with the event of the World War II. After the war, both the countries were incorporated into the Eastern Bloc, with Lithuania being annexed by the Soviet Union, and Poland became a separate satellite state behind the Iron Curtain. Thus, after the dissolution of Soviet Union in 1991, the Vilnius returned as the capital of Lithuania, and so the ancient nation became whole once again. Post-Soviet Poland-Lithuania relationship is relatively cold and governed by distrust. The mutual history of the Poland-Lithuania Union was viewed far less favorably in Lithuania than in Poland. As such, the Polish minority culture in Lithuania was suppressed in sharp contrast with other ethnic cultures in the country, with various other cultural discrimination thrown against the ethnic Poles. This, however, was sometimes reported to be changing with the current Russian intervention in Ukraine, sparked fear of the country's military expansion, which might prompt things for the better in the future. So to answer the questions, the Poland-Lithuania decades-old rivalry and territory disputes is what governed the conflict between the two countries today. The current situation in Europe, though, might help disfusing this old cold peace. But in the end, only time will tell. Thank you for watching Alpha Plus. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you appreciate this video. If you are new here and your subscription will be a great help to our effort.